Hello everyone, this is Julie Kagawa, and yeah, it's been a while. I apologize for the camera quality, my office is not quite set up to how I want it to be. Hopefully we will fix that in the future. So you all know me as an author, but also as a gamer. More than 10 years ago, I used to play The Sims 3, and I loved The Sims 3. And one of the fun things I did with it was I had my characters as Sims characters. There would be a Megan and an Ash and a Puck and a Grimalkin. And then The Sims 4 came out and I played that a little bit but I didn't quite get into it. But recently I have suddenly had an itch to play The Sims 4. All the worlds and all the characters from my books I want to create and I want to throw them into The Sims 4 world. I will put myself in there too as an author and we will interact with all the characters and we'll see what chaos unfolds. So Let's get into it. I haven't played The Sims in years, but um, it should be fun. And uh, we'll see what kind of uh, chaos and shenanigans we can get up to. Okay, everybody, this is me. Or Sims uh -huh. me. So if we look at our aspirations, obviously she wants to be a best-selling author. She is a muser. Uh, creative, goofball, because I'm sort of a goofball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Self-assured, uh, why not? We'll go with it. And then down here are, down here are my boys. We have Gambit. I mean, the, he, he looks very much like Gambit, and he is... He's loyal, and he's smart. He is a smart boy. And then we have his real-life brother, Ronin. And this is what Ronin looks like. Ronin is a couch potato. He is kind of the opposite of Gambit. He's also very loyal. He's also kind of a hunter. He likes to go out and dig around and, and uh, sniff things. So those are my two boys, Ronin and Gambit. And then, of course, we have Jack. His Real name is Captain Jack Sparrow, but we call him Jack. And Jack's kind of a mess. Uh, he's very skittish. He's a, a glutton. He, he's super messy. I wish there was a messy option for cats, because this is a disgusting cat. And he's very talkative. So those are all my... Those are all my pets. There is me. And um, I am ready to get started, so... I'm a little nervous. I haven't played this in like five or six years, so we're gonna just hit the start button and see see what happens. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So oh my goodness, this is the first. I haven't played this in so long. Pause. Okay. Very important key there. Sorry, guys. Just getting used to the controls again. Uh, un buzz. Aww, he's so cute. Okay, uh, let's go into the house. Oh my goodness, this house is tiny. And now we're gonna do some training. Like almost all pets, Gambit can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Okay, that's very Gambit-ish. He's an Australian Shepherd. He's obsessive. How, how, how do I buy things? Uh, one thing that I realized I needed is a litter box. I need a litter box for this cat. <laughs> I need a litter box. Hello, how does one buy a thing in The Sims? I am such a noob. I've forgotten nearly everything. People are gonna yell at me. Alright, so, uh, okay, I need to select a career. Where's the writer? Aha! Writer! Get paid to express your ideas with beautiful turns of phrases and words. Wonderful words. We are now a writer. Actually, we're a writer's assistant. Hello, everybody! Minnesota. In real life, my dogs would be at going Luma? absolutely crazy. <laughs> my Sims dogs are much more well behaved than my uh, real life dogs. Okay, we're going to try to get to know our neighbors. So, so. <laughs> I feel like Sim Me is much more social than real life me, but I would not eat fruitcake. Oh, sorry everyone, I am so bad at controls. We'll get better as we go on. Yuck! What are you doing? Don't eat the fruitcake! What cat eats fruitcake? Oh, you know, he's probably hungry. 
How does one buy things in The Sims? Aha! I have discovered the menu! Gambit, you're kind of in the way, bud. Alright, we're gonna put it right there. There we go, we'll give them a food bowl. I feel like... Jack is gonna need a tree. That cannot be a more perfect representation of my cat. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, oh. yeah. It's so weird watching this. It's like watching myself and my dog. Ugh, I'm hungry, so I'm just I'm gonna eat this awful fruit cake. Don't like fruit cake. Have you ever tried fruit cake? It's like medicine pieces and cake. Yeah. Even Sims Me doesn't like fruit cake. Ugh, already, this is also very my cat. Except now I don't have a husband to clean it up. What did I- what, why am I uncomfortable? Why am I uncomfortable? What did I just eat from eating fruitcake? See that's- it's confirmed. It is confirmed. Fruitcake is not food. But Jack likes it. Who has to pee? Someone has to pee. Don't pee on the floor. Do not pee on the floor. Good boy. Good boy for peeing outside. And Okay. I did not know that dog poop was a thing in The Sims 4. Yuck. No, no, don't, no, don't, don't. Don't, no, 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 don't do that. No, oh, oh, oh. No, no, you're just gonna let them play in the puddles? No. No. Stop it. No, Gambit, no. Stop it, that's gross. Oh, oh, oh. No playing in puddles. Gambit has learned not to play in puddles. Good boy. Oh, you're no. Ronin! Oh, Ronin! Oh. Ew! Alright, it's been a long day. Hello, Jack. Good night. Okay. What is a writer's assistant anyway? I mean, I'm a writer, and I can tell you for a fact that I don't really have an assistant. <laughs> if I'm gonna be a writer, I need to get serious about writing. There's really nowhere in this little place that I can really put a desk. I'm gonna have to make some sacrifices for space. So, let's see what we can do. Okay! <laughs> There's my writing setup. <laughs> Not the most fancy writing setup I have ever had in my life, but everybody has to start somewhere, right? Write a book. A, child, a, a children's book, I, I guess. Get to writing. Here we go. Write that book. We're gonna call this book... Jintaka and the Mark of the Coat Hanger. <laughs> there we go. It's gonna be a New York Times bestseller. I am very excited about it. I am never this excited when I'm at my real computer. <laughs> I I apparently cracked myself up. And Gambit does not like the computer. No pet is truly fearless, even Gambit. Nope. Each pet has its own unique fear, so watch your pets to discover what spooks up. I'm sorry! Oh, Gambit, you're gonna have to get over that, bud. Oh, now I'm happy. Oh. Excellent. Why am I happy? I've acquired the writing <laughs> skill. If only it were that easy. Write for about 20 minutes and then you've got the writing skill. That's exactly how it works. Author's newly, require, newly acquired writing skill will allow her to enjoy the benefits of an expanded vocabulary and grammatically correct sentences. <laughs> if you say so. Also, I love that I am writing in my pajamas. This is quite accurate. I have reached level 2 of the writing skill. Oh, nice. Alright, 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 Gambit, alright. Guess I shouldn't neglect my pets. There you go, bud. They're a boo! Hana! a hug! Okay, good. We're just, we're going to work. What am I wearing? Okay, one, I don't think that's what writer's assistants wear, because I've never met a writer's assistant. Two, I would never wear this. But, uh, whatever. Off I go to work. Alright, I'm home! I really have to use the bathroom! But I am inspired! I am still wearing my awful outfit. We need to change out of that. Pronto. I feel inspired. I am going to write. I felt bad last night because I didn't give my pets a comfy, a comfy bed. So we're gonna go and give them a bed. Let's put a bed here. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we'll give Jack a nice spot, too. Oh, I think we did it. 
I oh, think oh. we did it. Oh, writing is magnificent. Author is striking true literary brilliance. Should she put it in writing that she likes writing? Yes, why not? I am a writer. This is what I do. What an achievement. Author finished writing an entire book. Oh my goodness, look at how filthy my house is. This is sort of in real life too. Why are you afraid of the computer? You are such a weird dog. Gambit. <coughs> Mind, I'm reading. It says I'll be able to publish this book just by clicking on the mailbox. Let's self-publish this baby, then we will be a real author. Congratulations, author has self-published the book. He won't make as much money as selling rights to a publisher, but will receive a small amount in royalties daily. Okay, well that's pretty good. How does one sell to a publisher? That is the question. Well, that is a day in the life of a Sims author. We moved in. We met some people, we wrote our first book, and then we self-published that book. So we are well on our way to becoming a world-renowned author. And who knows, maybe someday soon in the future, more people will move into the neighborhood. Much more interesting neighbors. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first little silly episode of a day in the life of a Sims author. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. And we'll see what other adventures we can get into in the future. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like down there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!